It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we are going to learn how to set a JPEG file as a sky sphere in 3JS. For this, we will need some tools, a 360 image in a .jpeg file format. I will be demonstrating with this image of a country road from polyhaven.com. A code editor is also necessary. I will use Visual Studio Code. A project for this demo can be found on github.com. A package manager will also be necessary to download JavaScript libraries like 3JS. I will be using Node Package Manager, or NPM. Links to the files and software used in this video can be found in the description. The first step is to choose and download our 360 image. I'll choose this one with the nice clouds in the background. Next, let's download the code from GitHub. After extracting, open it in a code editor. Then open a terminal window and navigate to the folder that includes the file package.json. Then run a command to install the dependencies. With Node Package Manager, this command would be npm install. If you're following along, make sure to copy the image file somewhere that the project can see. The expected path for the image can be found in mainview.js in the image path variable. MainView.js sets up the scene that will be viewed in the browser. It creates a camera, then updates the aspect ratio based on the browser window. It also sets up an ambient light. The inside of the sky sphere must be illuminated in some way or our camera won't be able to see anything. The ambient light brightens everything, including the inside of the sky sphere. Then the set sky sphere method is called. Overall, set sky sphere takes the image location and creates a sphere with that image and adds it to the scene. The first step to do this is to load the image. For JPEG images, we use the texture loader provided by 3JS. After loading the image, we can create a sphere. This will be the sky sphere the camera will be inside of. It must have a radius that is larger than all of the elements in the scene or else things will get cut off. Luckily, this scene will only have the camera and the sphere. Next, the material is set up. A material describes what the surface of the geometry should look like. The side of the sky sphere material is set to the back side. This means that the image will appear on the inside of the sky sphere and not on the outside. Then a mesh for the sky sphere is created. The mesh object applies the material to the geometry so that everything appears as expected. And finally, we add it to the scene. Now let's run the program. In a terminal window, run the following command, npm run start dash dev. Two command prompt windows should open. This project uses a JavaScript tool called Webpack. It takes an extra moment to prepare and the file's output might run faster when placed on a server. Now open a web browser and go to localhost colon 3000. And look at that. Together, we have created a sky sphere with a JPEG image. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day and thank you for attending class outside.